Hey, let's not combine substances, okay? Pick one gross thing at a time. That was disgusting. I've got 10 questions and 10 shots of God knows what. I can either answer the question or I have to take a shot. I think I'm gonna be fine. I mean, there's not really much I get embarrassed about. Like, unless it's like a deeply personal question, I don't, I don't think I'm gonna be afraid of anything. I hope I don't have to take a shot at any of these. It looked disgusting. They... It's, um, strong. I'm the Swiss Alps. Aged well. All right, first question. What is your biggest insecurity? I'd say my biggest insecurity is the security in my career. The entertainment business is so up and down. Like you have to cherish like every high moment you get because it can go away. You could never work again after that one exciting thing. So I think it's just hoping I can have longevity in this business. Suck it. Now, I don't have to drink it. It's a dressing. I think it's Italian dressing. I'm mad at it. I don't want to drink it, but... Tell us who the most famous person to slide into your DMs was and show us what they said. Oh, that's number two. <laughs> uh, most famous person to slide into my DMs. Damn, man. Like they started the conversation. Oh. <sighs> That's mean. That was very, very mean. Good question. No cough. It wasn't that bad other than the chopped up vegetables at the bottom of it. Could have done without that. The pickle juice was, was nice though. Dark is just, it's not, I know it's not gonna be good. I know it's not. It's another dressing. Which city are you least looking forward to during your problematic world tour? Well, it would be Atlanta, but I purposely skipped Atlanta and performing in Georgia and Augusta, I believe. It's a city that I'm actually going to that I'm not looking forward to. I would say, I mean, no one's excited to go to like Oklahoma City. You know what I mean? No shade to the city. I'm sure there are plenty of Dave and Busters to hang out at, but uh, I'm pretty excited to be the most fun thing in Oklahoma for at least one night. I don't think the Oklahoma fans are going to be pissed at all. They know where they live. Ugh, this one's white and chunky. Oh, it's so thick. How many times are you hooked up with your fans? That was disgusting. The thickness of it going down my esophagus was haunting. <laughs> oh, that's not good. Like a picture, like a beef jerky flavored ramen juice. So far, textures was gonna kill me. Name three celebrities you would not want to be stranded on a desert island with and why. Greta Thunberg, I feel like she would just talk about how the ocean is, is rising the entire time we're on the, on the island and how many years we have left until we just inevitably drown. So Greta Thunberg, anybody from Vanderpump Rules, who's to say who's the worst? It just seems like they would create drama even out of just the four of us. And then the third one would be Harry Styles because we're trapped on this island and he'd be the sexiest one there. So the whole time I'm like, how long am I stranded on this island for before I try to fuck Harry Styles, you know? And I just don't really want to have to deal with that battle mentally and physically and sexually. Nope.
Hey, let's not combine substances, okay? Pick one gross thing at a time. Well, yeah, it's gonna be gross and you can concoct things. That's not gonna be good. Um, Tabasco and vodka. Or will it be? Which comedian do you think is overrated and why? <laughs> oh, man. Oh, God. This is going to be blasphemous. I know the amount of hate I'm going to get for this. But it's okay, because I don't think he would like me either. It's okay. I think Jerry Seinfeld is wildly overrated. Just for my own personal preference. I, he's just a very 80s, early 90s style of comic. Like, it's very cut and dry, easy, premise set up punchline. It's not my sense of humor per se. What do you think Seinfeld would say about your comedy? Well, I don't get it. I think it's only women here. I don't know, that's a terrible impression, but whatever. Oh, I was just off on a hot sauce? Uh, damn. This, oh, pl oh God, I hope. I can't do this one. I can't tell what that is. Like, look what's at the bottom. What is that? If we're gonna mix shit, make it make it be two liquids. Don't mix solids and liquids. This is disgusting. Okay. Next question is, who's the most famous person you've matched with? You can Google it. <laughs> you could drink it. It's so nasty. It's so gross. Hold on, man. Ah. <laughs> uh. King Beckinsale. I I just I can't. It's it's disgusting. What is it? Oh. Oh yeah. I could not have. I could not have done that. This is not smell good. It's like. Lemon juice and yeah, almost almost has like that twang of like a pickle juice as well. Would you have doubled down on pickle juice though? This is this is probably the worst one. Yeah. On the full volume podcast, you talked about events leading up to a breakup where you messed up a little bit. What was your little mess up? I messed up a little bit, yeah. and then her reaction to that mess up made it a thousand times worse. Oh man. It is like so genuinely minuscule and like actually means fucking nothing. But I kind of just wanted to die because everyone's blown out of proportion. I'll take the shot because no matter what I say, nobody's gonna believe me anyways. It wasn't the worst. Not good. Now you'll never know. Fuck wads. This one looks like a lava lamp. I don't know how I feel about that. Oh. I'm gonna say like orange soda and some kind of hot sauce again. Back in April, you said, I kind of hate dating. But recently, page six reported that you're seeing Jessica Lord. Who are you currently dating? Jessica Lord. Y'all nosy, man. Y'all so nosy. This, uh, okay, yeah, this looks like a fermented in an above ground pool. Oh, it's the last question, too. I bet it's the worst one. <laughs> Come on, man. Why is it so messy? You once gave Pete Davidson advice to run and be careful when it came to dating Kate Beckinsale. Why was this your advice? I'm trying to think of how I want to word it. I'm going to answer it. I gave that advice because I was only speaking from personal experience, having been together and finding out that we weren't the most compatible match and I wanted to make sure that both of them were careful with their emotions and didn't head into something that they also wouldn't that also wouldn't work out that Better. one answers 
the why you gave that advice to be careful, but it doesn't answer why you said to run. Oh, come on. Come on. No, I can't. <laughs> it's pretty thick. Uh, I gave the advice to be careful because I had just got out of a relationship with somebody that I unfortunately found out we weren't compatible. And I always want people to, you know, protect their emotions and their personal feelings. And I told him to run because I was being a petty asshole. I regret saying that. Pete, if you're out there, sorry I said that. Kate, I also apologize that I said that. I shouldn't have said that. Yeah, I'm pretty happy I skipped that one. I think it went fine. I feel like I righted some wrongs. I feel like I had to do some soul searching. I have a stronger stomach than I thought, actually. I feel like some people would have thrown up at these. It's pretty gross. Well, that's it. Thanks for watching me on Thirst Trap. I hope you learned a lot.